Hey everyone, this is Greg. Welcome back to Geek Cheese and welcome back to Diablo 3. Um, right now we are in, uh, our objective says that we are on the road to Alcarnus? Alcarnus to find the Chasm Outpost. Um, I noticed that when I popped in here, there is a bunch of, oh, those are the people that I can take. There's just a bunch of other people around. I guess those are the, just the, the people that I can take, really. I have the, uh, the Entran Enchantress here, which I'm, uh, I like. She's pretty good. Uh, um, yeah, so why don't we hop back over to the, um, holy crap, I didn't want to do that. Sorry, I haven't played the game, I haven't played Diablo in, uh, in, I don't know, how long? Um, like a week, I guess? A week or more since, well, it's been a week since I last uploaded my, uh, video, Diablo video, so it's been more than that since I've, uh, played, that's for sure. So, trying to get my, uh, get my, my wits about me. What is all this? There's lots of, like, devils and stuff over here, demons, so... So that's pretty cool. We'll probably take care of them right off the bat. But uh, thank you again for joining me. This is good stuff. Love playing Diablo. And, uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to continue to do that. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, all right, let's just kill these guys right here. Um, let's see, what, what are we supposed to do? I guess that's what we're supposed to do. Get whatever loot, but I think we already got loot, and you know what? That makes me think. What does my inventory look like? Okay, good. Excellent. <laughs> that's the one thing I always forget about when I start playing is, uh, and normally, you don't know this, but normally I have to go back out and, uh, fix a bunch of stuff. Because I get into the game and then I'm like, oh shoot, I have no space for anything. So, can I go up that? Can I go up that? I guess not. So yeah, I always forget to uh, unload all my stuff. And here's some stuff. Here's some things. I'll take care of these things here. These sand creatures. They always remind me of the sandworms from uh, Beetlejuice. Which were really only in Beetlejuice, the cartoon show. You know, they didn't really, they weren't featured prominently in the movie. They were there, but you only got to see like a little, well, I guess you got to see a, a lot of bit of it. Came up Nathan one guy at the end after all. What? What'd you say? I'm just not paying attention to anything, man. Uh, oh. Well, he's dead. So, like, no worries there, Enchantress. Got your back. I think, actually, the last time uh, I... There's a little hidden cache. I think the last time I actually gave the Enchantress a bunch of stuff to help her. Um, like that axe and stuff that she's carrying. I think I unloaded some of that stuff and gave it to her. Oh, one of these wall demon people. So, um, as I'm just killing a bunch of demons and stuff here, and sandworms and other things. Uh, so, a lot of exciting, interesting things are happening here at Geek Cheese. A lot of cool stuff that we're working on with some some other people doing some collaborations, uh, working on some stuff So uh, that I'm pretty excited about, that I'm kind of geeking out about because it's uh, stuff with friends, and, and I think it's going to be lots of fun. <sighs> I guess I don't want to give too much away um, because it, uh, I'm, I would like us to do an announcement. I mean an announcement of, of like the random things that we're doing. But I do want to say that I know we've been promising a lot of extra content, a lot of other stuff that we will be doing. Um, and that is coming. Just have patience. We are, uh, we are in the middle of a lot of stuff right now. A lot of, uh, 
not changes or anything like that. We're just, uh, <laughs> we're just, we're just busy, <laughs> busy with, uh, actual life stuff. This is a part-time hobby, so, <laughs> um, but it's lots of fun. It's, it, you know, in all the years that I've been, um, gaming, which really hasn't been that long, you know, um, or what I would call gaming or consider myself a gamer, um, out of all, all the years, I think this is the most serious I've ever really been about stuff. This is, I've never really played, I mean, I play games to like their completion, but not like, I, I would say not to the level and not to the, to the excitement that I'm playing some of these games. Um, Sunbleached Corpse, that's kind of nasty. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of neat to, to be able to um, be a part of this and, and to work on it with some really cool people. I mean, to work on it with my wife is amazing, and uh, she's really cool. I hear a treasure golem somewhere. Where is he? Where is the treasure? There he is. My hatred is too low. That was awesome. <laughs> I just took him out real quick. That was pretty cool. Um, normally I have to chase him down, but not so much that time. Uh, all right, so here's a deserted cellar. So we'll go in there real quick. But yeah, so like I said, we are uh, having lots of fun with it. And uh, this is a cool hobby that, you know, I have a lot of interests. I think that's the bad thing about bad thing about being me is that I have so many different interests that I, I really, I play music, I write, I um, play games, I play board games, tabletop games, I have just so many varied interests that it's really hard to kind of focus sometimes, to kind of keep something going for a long period of time. What's going on here? Holy cow. Oh, well, that was uh, I acted like that was going to be terrible, but it was actually really easy. Uh, but yeah, so, so to keep something going this long is, is really exciting for me um, to keep at it and to, like I said, to be able to work on this kind of stuff with with friends and with loved ones and, you know, especially my wife and, and her being involved with this kind of stuff is is really cool. You know, I, I encourage a lot of people to, to try out this kind of stuff. Um, it's scary. I, I would say it's scary. The internet is a scary place. It's a it's a creepy place. It can be, but if you get some really cool people behind you and you just focus on that and focus on the positive, um, focus on on those people that are going to support you. Um, that's what makes it all worthwhile. Like uh, a perfect example is friends who we're probably going to, not probably, we are going to be doing collaboration with, um, joining the other night as we were live playing, um, playing, uh, Thimbleweed Park was great, so much fun, you know, having people like that on board to kind of help you and to kind of be there as you're doing this stuff is, is neat, that's what kind of makes it all worthwhile, all right, I'm just going to do that and get rid of a bunch of things. There's a lot of demon people over right here. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Am I? Am I going the right way? I need more hatred to do that. There's people here. Not people, they're demons. Technically not people. You possess people. I don't know how that goes. How does that go? How do, you, how do you be a demon? Do you have to be possessed or be in hell to be a demon? I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how the uh, how that goes. I don't know what the the hierarchy of that kind of stuff is. I guess it's good that I don't know that. All right. So let's see. There's something here. What is that? That's nothing apparently. All right. Let's take a look at the map. I have to go where? What am I trying to do? What am I trying to find? The road to, well, this is the road, obviously. Find the chasm outpost. So I'm over here. This is the road. So we kind of got off, off course a little bit. So 
Let's. I mean, I'm sure it just makes a big circle anyway. Has always been drawn to these lands. Oh, my evil's always drawn to, to the desert. I've been to the desert. I enjoyed it. Maybe that says something about me. I don't know. My spider dude just totally took care of that guy. That was amazing. Um. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I have uh, have been notified by friends that I need to watch the end of Critical Role. It's something that I've not uh, watched yet. I know that they came to a conclusion with their storylines and they're going to start with new characters, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's really cool. I hope to uh, hope to kind of catch up on that stuff. That's something I haven't actually watched in a while is Critical Role. So uh, I got a lot of catching up to do on that. Stranger Things just came out today, I believe, or yesterday or something. Um, so um, I can't wait to watch that. It's a great show. Um, I'll see what else I do. What else do we have going on? What other nerd things are out there that I can talk about? Well, right now, I mean, this is this is nerdy for a whole other reason, but my uh, very excited the World Series is going on right now. Yeah, I took care of that. Uh, World Series is going on right now, which is pre pretty cool. So my Yankees unfortunately lost. I mean, seven games. Hell of a run. Great team. Joe Girardi's not coming back. Um, you know, I'm uh, really okay with that. He was a great manager while he was around. Um, he certainly took the Yankees to different places, and, or uh, took the Yankees to the World Series and and uh, helped continue to build the franchise. Took them to places where you couldn't, wouldn't think that they would be because, I mean, they were and so many young players. He kind of fostered a lot of those relationships and dealt with a lot of uh, a lot of personalities and things. Dealt with a lot of stuff that um, managers... Holy cow. A lot of things that managers um, struggle with, you know, new players, young players, uh, building up uh, the team, uh, rebuilding, restructuring things. And um, so he did a great job. Um, you know, I believe his overall record as a manager was 900 and some and 700 and some. So, I mean, you can't knock the guy. He had a winning record as a manager. Personally... I just don't agree with some of his management decisions. I didn't like the way he managed the pitchers. I'm a huge fan of pitching. My wife, I think she loathes when I talk about pitching um, because I will geek out over pitching any day of the week. Um, it's one of my favorite things to watch. It's a pitching duel. Um, but I, I just did not like the way Joe Jordan managed the Yankees bullpen. Let's get out of this like little plague spot. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? Plague and stuff. Okay, good. Um, yeah, I wasn't just wasn't a fan of the way he he dealt with some of that stuff. The way he managed the bullpens, the way he managed start, starting pitching. You know, when I grew up. John Wetland would come, or uh, Mariano Rivera was the setup man for John Wetland for the Yankees, and like Mo would come in, in like the seventh inning, and John Wetland would come in the eighth. You know, like closers were meant to close the game uh, at any point. So I don't know. Th there's there's all types of things that you can speculate, and and uh, I know his contract was up, so that's kind of why they have decided to go different ways in a different direction, but. I wish him the best of luck. He's gonna land. He's gonna get a manage, uh, managerial job somewhere. I think he's gonna he's gonna land somewhere. I mean, how can you not? Again, with a winning record like that, and with being in the playoffs as much as the Yankees were. With um, can I shoot that? Um, being in the playoffs as many times as the Yankees were. So. We'll see what happens. I'm uh, I am cautiously optimistic though about the Yankees' future. I know we have a lot of young talent, a lot of young players, but 
I think we got a bright future ahead of us. I just hope, I hope, 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 hope that Aaron Judge, my boy Aaron Judge, does not just tank and turn into like a Ryan Howard. Sorry, Phillies fans, but let's face it, I think I could strike out Ryan Howard. He wasn't, he wasn't the best. <laughs> um, so I just hope he, he doesn't end up like that. That would be... That would be devastating, I think, to a lot of, not only a lot of, um, Belial, Lord of lies, not only like a lot of Yankee fans, purists kind of like myself, evils, but just a lot of young fans who really deceit. look up to him, so. It is said that he manipulated Asmodan into revolt against the prime evils. This Going began the, the wrong burning direction hell here, folks. civil let's war, go, go which ended to, with uh, the dark exile of the prime evils to our mortal realm. Okay, there's like a whole other path. There's the Chasm Outpost. Okay, we found the Chasm Outpost. Alright, cool. Hey, we got a checkpoint then. Alright, check mark. Check. We found the Chasm Outpost. Right. Too quiet. I don't remember this from the game when I played it on uh, PS3. I need to reach Alcanus. Please open the gate. You must be mad. But if you're intent on rushing headlong to your death, talk to Captain David down in the command post. He's got the gate key. Gate key. <laughs> there are so many uh, Ghostbusters references I want to make now. I'm the gatekeeper. Are you the key master? Here you are. Delivered unto oh, me Magda. the sacrifice. A gift from Lord Belial. Really, Magda? Or did Belial send you here as bait to lure me away from Chaldeum? I will kill you, you know. No! He would never betray me! Strike him down! Belial is the lord of lies, Magda. The truth is, you were dead the minute you killed Kay. <laughs> I love how I just, like, just destroyed everything so quick. That was amazing. So, Magda, like, doesn't scare me at all. I mean, after all, I'm Demon Hunter Cooper. Like, that scares me. I just fought like a thousand demons. Like, I'm not going to be scared by you, Magda. So, uh, let's locked cage. Let's open this. Not a moment too soon. They plan to sacrifice us to Belial. Iron Wolves, take back the town. Iron Wolves. Alright, so let's go take back the town with the Iron Wolves. I suppose. I think that's what we're going to do. I love these, uh, I like these guys. I don't know what they are, but I like them because they remind me of the, uh, of, oh my gosh, what's her name? Medusa. They remind me of the way Medusa looked in the original Clash of the Titans. You know, she was like a rattlesnake, weird looking thing with like crazy hair. Oh man, I like the way they look. They're like Medusa from Clash of the Titans meets, uh, Aquaman from Justice League. Which I'm extremely excited about, and I am calling out Nerdist right now because Nerdist. <sighs> I love reading Nerdist news. I really do. There's lots of nerdy news there, obviously, but I feel like Nerdist every single time they post something about Justice League, even though if it's completely unfounded, all speculation, it's just so negative. Like, give them a break. Everyone Nothing knows that serious. Batman vs Superman Most was flawed. But, like, come on, it's yes. not even out yet. Just give it a chance. Everybody's been saying that I delay any Thor Ragnarok wasn't that good, or that it was like a, a comedy uh, with really dark subject matter, and everybody's been saying that. Uh, I heard a lot of people actually talk online about um, the latest Spider-Man, saying that, you know, it wasn't, wasn't that great, it wasn't all that good, but just because it has the Marvel name behind it, it's all this positive press, and Nerdist, I feel like, is one of the people, or one of the, the outlets, that has really jumped on the bandwagon, and it drives me crazy. So, Nerdist, just give the movie a chance. Please stop posting negative stuff about it, because then everyone in your comments gets negative, and it's just, <sighs> it just drives me nuts. Anyway, I'm really excited for Justice League. End of rant. <laughs> so, where am I going? I'm following this guy. Guess I'm going this way. 
Holy cow. There's stuff like right here. Find Alchemist. Where the hell am I? Alright. Let's go find this guy. I don't even know if Alchemist... I don't even know what Alchemist is. I was just ranting there pretty hardcore, so I don't even know what anything is or what we're really doing. I'm just following this little objective thing over here. Trust me nuts though when when uh drives me crazy when places don't give movies a chance. And when there's just so much negat whoa, that was pretty wild. <laughs> when there's just so much negativity over something and it's like everyone's everyone's just being so negative about uh that's my dog in the back. Everyone's just being negative about a, a movie or about I mean, it could be about anything. It could be a, a movie. It could be my dog is building a bed in the background on the floor. Sorry if you hear scratching. <laughs> um, it could be a movie. It could be a, a baseball team. It could be, you know, it could be anything. It's just like people need to give, people need to give some chance. And stop being so biased against so many different things. Case in point, I'm a Yankees fan, but I'm also like, <sighs> I'm not biased against I, I love the Yankees and I've, I've always loved them, but I mean, if they're playing a better team, I'm not going to just completely just, I don't know, talk negative about the better team because I'll just admit the Yankees are a better team, you know? Admit the flaws of, of what you like and of what you love. Um, and w and if you're willing to accept those types of things, um, you'll the, the bright spots will, will turn out even better. Like, for example, Batman vs. Superman. Um, or the Yankees baseball season, um, like those are there's things about both of those that I absolutely you know I've I've criticized and uh, and that have drove me bananas as I've you know watched baseball and all that kind of stuff. But there's there's things with Batman vs Superman that I just absolutely eek at me. But then there's other parts where I'm like oh my gosh, like the part where Batman is fighting the dudes in the uh, the group of guys in the the area and he's like throwing crates around and stuff like that like he's moving and looking like batman the animated series and we've never seen that on film before and that i geek out over that kind of stuff I'm just gonna run into here and get rid of those guys that really that would be really terrible so i don't know all of that ranting was just to say people need to give <laughs> give justice league a chance it's not even out in theaters yet so come on, people. Just... I'm all fired up now. Not gonna sleep. It's probably just the coffee talking. That's all, that's all it is. <laughs> it's just, just the copious amounts of coffee that I've had since I've got home. Just fueling me right now. I'm fueling this, this rage that I feel, and the rantingness, rantiness. That, I, that I'm experiencing. Um, Alright, so that's a lot of gold. That's cool. There's some stuff here. Some dudes. Things running around. Oh, big guy. Oh, yeah, it just feels like this stuff really isn't that bad. That multi attack bro, that I had is pretty incredible. Holy cow. That, uh, whatever it is, something shot, multi-shot with the arrows and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's legit. It's, like, straight up legit. It's, uh, it's, like, the best, best attack, I think, that I'm I have. Overburdened. Overburdened. Cool. That overburdenedness. My pack is full. Shoot. Guys. Oh, no. All right, let's let's get rid of all these people throughout this area, just so I can, just so I can clean out my inventory, see what I have. All right, you know what I actually might do? I 
might. Let me, let me drop something over here. Uh, what can I use? I can't use that. I can't use the two handed sword. Can. Crap, I'm just going to drop that. If you're going to yell at me for. For dragging and dropping like I did. I don't know any other way to do it. Um, okay. So I am going to actually transport out of here. Yeah. I'm going to transport out of here because I got I stuff. Returning to town. I got to sell and I want to empty out my pack and kind of build up my guy. And actually, that's where I'm going to leave it for right now. So, sorry about all the rants. But, like I said, we got some stuff coming up, some uh, updates. We'll be uh, doing some cool collaborations and things like that with some awesome people. So uh, just be on the lookout for that kind of stuff. And uh, our new segment, The Slice, is also coming. I know we've said it's coming for a while. It's just a matter of time uh, for us to uh, to actually put together. I just put together the, in the intro the other day, made that. And uh, yeah, so all types of stuff on the horizon. But anyway, come on back to Geek Cheese for some more. Uh, be playing some more Diablo. And uh, Kelly's playing all types of cool stuff too. So uh, thank you again for watching. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. And uh, like us or uh, follow us on Twitter, geek, at geek underscore cheese. And that's it. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much.